Hi, in this video we're going to see together what document libraries are on SharePoint Online. Document libraries are one of the cornerstones of SharePoint Online that allow us to store documents in the Microsoft 365 cloud with really extreme ease. Excuse me for a moment, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself, then I'll let you continue. I am one of the Microsoft MVPs and I am an expert in all the technologies revolving around Microsoft 365. So if you want updates on SharePoint, the world of intranet, perhaps on Teams or Microsoft Copilot, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Let's switch to my computer for a moment so I can show you how they work and what you can do with document libraries. In general, you should know that every time a new site is created, a document library is always created on SharePoint Online. A default document library called Documents. In this library, we have the option to either create new documents from scratch using one of the available templates or to create our own folder structure. Within the Microsoft Cloud, all the documents, files and folders that we create in this site, you should know, are set to be visible by default. They are then visible to all the people who have permissions within the site. Okay, so anyone in the visitors group will be able to read this content. Anyone in the members group will be able to read and edit them as well as upload new ones or delete them or those who have the responsibility of managing the group so they are group owners. You also have the option to choose what permissions apply to these documents. In addition to the ability to create new content and new files, I can also upload them from my computer. I can upload single files, multiple files or even an entire folder or I can choose to create a template to add to the list of templates available within my document library. To upload a new file, I I also have the option to do a drag and drop. So I select the file from my computer and move it into the document library and once I release it in the top right I have a bar that shows me the progress of the upload. In this case it was very quick because my document was very small but if you upload larger files in this case up in the top right you can also see the upload progress in a document library. In SharePoint Online you should know that you can upload really large files up to 100 gigabytes in me size. So we can upload not just office documents, like in this case, but also videos, images, everything you want. Attention, we need to remember something very important. Once we decide to upload a file to my document library, in SharePoint Online, the copy that remains on my computer effectively becomes obsolete, in the sense that these two files are completely separate from each other. So if there are any of my colleagues within this SharePoint site who go and edit this document, my original document that I have on my computer will no longer be updated. On the computer, it will no longer be updated. This is very important. Within the document library, the document can be enhanced and the user can take advantage of. There are various features that are, in addition to the options we have for managing documents in folders on our computer, or the famous network folders. First of all, I have the ability to make changes to the document very easily taking advantage of the integration that SharePoint has with the Office Suite. In this case, I'm editing a document using Word Online. If I want, I can also choose to fully take advantage of Word's features by opening this document through the Word application on my computer. In this case, all the changes I make to the document are always saved. On SharePoint Online, so on Microsoft's cloud, every time I make a change to the document, and this is another one of the available features, SharePoint saves the previous version of my file or here within the contextual menu of the document the ability to access the entire history of these versions that I can choose to view delete or perform a restore that is to make an old version become the current version again this is very important because through SharePoint's version management in document libraries we have a way to avoid losing content or changes made to a document in addition and this is definitely the option that can be used the most within a document library library. It's the ability to enrich our documents with metadata by clicking on Add Column. I then have the option to choose from a myriad of column types that define my metadata structure. I can create simple columns like plain text, choices, dates, adding people within the company, columns where I put a Boolean value, so yes or no, of currencies, images and so on. In this case, I'll give you an example of creating a category, a category field. I can choose the name of the field and then enter all the entries. In this case, I 
want to define that I want to assign a category to my documents. So I put marketing, sales, more and purchases. Each category, as you can see, can also have a color and you can choose the color you prefer from the available options. Once I save, here's my column and my metadata available within the interface and document, I document or even in bulk. I have the option through this panel located in the top right corner to specify my metadata, the title of the document or in this case the category metadata that I just entered. You can see that as soon as I select the category, I will see the same data in the tabular view that I have in my document library. If I want to edit multiple documents, putting the same value in one go, I just need to select them. Always open the edit panel and choose the category value. In my case, I also have the option to take advantage of this content editing feature in a grid that allows me to access all the metadata present in my library and modify, let's say, all the values as if I were in a similar experience. Excel. In addition to this, I also have the option through the sync button to sync these files to my computer. It's very useful when I need to read and edit these documents while I'm on the go or offline without internet access. Here are the main features of document libraries. A feature in SharePoint that is truly a cornerstone of the product and offers so much, so much more. See you soon.